would like to share the following information with our patients regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Please keep in mind that this could change as recommendations change. Washington University physicians and BJC healthcare facilities have placed restrictions on visitors for both inpatient stays and outpatient appointments. The latest policy will always be available at bjc.org. And please, if you have a fever, cough, or shortness of breath, please contact the office before coming in for your appointment. Our practices are following CDC and local hospital recommendations. Please visit bjc.org for more information. You can help stop the spread of COVID-19 by doing a few things. Cover your mouth when you cough using your elbow. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Stay away from anyone who is sick. Follow social distancing and stay out of public places. Currently, there is limited data available regarding pregnancy and COVID-19 that does not indicate pregnant women are at increased risk. However, given pregnancy can increase your risk of complications after respiratory infections like influenza, we are considering pregnant women an at-risk population. There are limited cases of infants born to infected mothers but none of these infants tested positive for COVID-19 after delivery. At this time, we do not believe that the virus is transmitted through the placenta to the baby. Currently, we're alternating visits in the office with telephone or virtual visits to help limit exposure to all. We will notify you in the office, via my chart, or by phone if we have to switch your visit type. Your ultrasounds and fetal testing will still be done in person. During your office visits, only one visitor is allowed with you and no visitors under the age of 16 are permitted. You will be screened when you first enter the building and may be asked to wear a mask or turned away if you have possible symptoms of coronavirus. As always, you can reach us via my chart. If you are COVID positive, we will arrange special prenatal care for you please call our office to make sure we know if you have tested positive. At this time, the hospital is allowing one visitor during your stay. For your safety, this policy is strictly enforced and currently includes doulas. We will have iPads available and encourage teleconferencing if your doula supports this technology. During your stay, your visitor will not be allowed to leave the hospital after their arrival to help limit COVID exposure. For you and your baby's protection, as well as ours, during your delivery, we will be wearing a mask, goggles, and a gown. You will not need masks unless you or your visitor are having symptoms. We strongly recommend strict social isolation for two weeks prior to your scheduled delivery. This will protect you, protect your baby, and protect our healthcare team. In order to minimize risk to the Parkview Tower building, all obstetrical patients will be assessed prior to their entry. If you have any concerning symptoms for COVID, you will be asked to wear a mask and be further assessed in our triage tent. If you are COVID positive or um, have other concerning symptoms, we will ensure you have a special accommodations during the delivery for both you and baby. At this time, babies will be separated from their COVID positive mothers. In order to help ensure that mothers are able to get healthy and well, while babies are further assessed and monitored. COVID positive mothers are being encouraged to express breast milk in order to help provide nutrition for their babies. Your health is very important to us. Please make responsible choices to protect yourself and our community. For the latest information on COVID-19, please visit the CDC website. And don't forget to check my chart for important updates. We know that this is a scary and uncertain time. The health of you and your baby is our number one priority. We are 100% here for you. And we are doing everything in our power to protect you. The future is bright. Don't lose hope. 
stay home and stay positive. I know these are unusual times. So unusual, I'm not even wearing a bow tie. But remember, we will get through this.